Welcome back everyone to another Decky play by play. Now, so far in this series, it's been more or less about Batman. And that's no problem to me because I'm such a huge fan. Say that again. Never leave the cave without it. Today we're talking about Arkham Knight. Yeah, this one came out back in 2015. Forgive me for not having a review by this stage. It's just that I've only acquired a PS4 a year and a half ago. So I've been itching to give this a review. Don't get me wrong. And I want to talk about the other Arkham games somewhere in the series. You guys will just have to see what comes out of it. Sit back and relax and listen to what Decky has to say about the Arkham Knight. Well, I think you can tell why I like this storyline. Uh, it's amazing to look at. It's on next gen systems, which means it's upgraded big time. Just look at all the stuff that they're able to make here. Uh, it definitely does step it up. And even for some of the shortfalls, just watching the storyline unfold is fantastic. Unfortunately, there are some repetitive things, like the tank battles are the things that I find most irritating about the game. Although, I do push through because there's more to this game than just tank battles. Strike on target. It's a very beautiful looking game. The textures and character models, everything is nicely put together. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. some surprise appearances from the likes of Joker who's not supposed to be alive at all but he lives in your consciousness so he's in the game but in a different way and you get to see him in a lot of weird places at one point he's even in the ventilation shaft teasing Batman about what's going on in the story mode and there are things that I like about that but again I think it's an easy excuse for to put him in the game but I still feel like if he wasn't I think this game would suffer for his absence I, I love just being able to stand up on a building somewhere in either of the costumes. Oh my the costumes. Came from Michael Keaton's Batman uh, to Christian Bale's Dark Knight and then Ben Affleck's Batman. I mean like I need and the cars as well. The their skins for those two. Controls in the game are very smooth and very deliberate. I love that about the fighting system. I love that you can just get in there and get from your Batmobile launched and straight into a fight and like you just feel like you are Batman. And so when the trailer for the game came out, be the Batman, like that's what they were trying to sell. They might not have been able to wrap up the series the way they wanted to with the story mode and I feel like that's something that they didn't do especially well. But with all that being said, this game is beautiful to look at and beautiful to play. There are some nice surprises in this game. Uh, for example, um, there was a part in the game where I was minding my own business, just making my way to a particular objective, and yeah, I don't know where. Boom! <laughs> just didn't didn't expect Man Bat of all people to show up. I didn't even know he was in the game, so I had a legitimate, authentic reaction, which it just scared the shit out of me. While it has some dual mode aspects of multiplayer, there isn't really truly a multiplayer mode in this game. And there's no online capability. For me, it seems a little bit 
of a letdown. After playing Arkham Origins, it's just something that I naturally expected because it was on PS4. So that's me expecting it. That's not something that I I should see. It's just something that I noticed in the game. The Riddler challenges have just overstayed their welcome. I find it very tedious. It is repetitive and it's the biggest downside of the game. It, unfortunately, I have to do it because I do want to complete the game. So, reluctantly, I'm getting all this stuff done. I will say, though, this time round, some of the stuff here is creative. Like the robots, for example, or even some of the racing tracks. Even though it is a bit silly. Uh, I, I don't imagine the Riddler setting all of this up anyway, but he does. So I will say it's more creative this time round. They do utilize all the things that you do in this game. So having the Batmobile put in these scenarios, it's interesting, but in, in, in my opinion, it's a bit unnecessary. The story was a bit of a letdown for me, but it's only minor in comparison to how impressive this game is overall. So those are my thoughts on the Arkham Knight. Tune in next time for more Batman craziness in this series. I'll see you guys later. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe for more Red Acre production videos. Not only Decky Play by Play, we got a ton of cool stuff already on YouTube and with lots more to come. He's getting edgy. When he turns the gun on me, I'll have a split second to disarm him. Too early and he'll kill Lucius. Too late and he'll get a shot off. Kill him. I'll do it! My face! Ah!